Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 19th. So keep in mind the timing is fluid, right? The timing is fluid, and this reading may or may not be for you. So we're just going to see what comes up. First thing I saw was the sun, which is a breakthrough. So we're going to have some sort of breakthrough. Um, there's a big, bright opportunity. Uh, the sun is a uh, vibrant energy. It's a very positive energy. It's a very light energy. So it is, it's a beautiful energy. So it's, it's feeling warm and happy and uh, shining, or glowing. It's a new beginning. Okay, it's happiness. And it's vibrating at a very high level. Um, so yeah, that was the first thing I saw. The second thing I saw, unfortunately, was the tower. So the tower is a life change, but it is a positive life change because this because the sun is right there. So it's a very positive life change. Breakthrough, okay? The tower is a breakthrough. It's where the light shines through, okay? It's where the the light is shed on a situation in a positive way, okay? So there's going to be a positive breakthrough. Um where the light is shed on a false sense of security or a false foundation or something that isn't stable. It's where the light comes in and and breaks down a false sense of security. Now I just pushed that one right off, didn't I? <clears throat> Had my eyes closed. I don't know what it is, but we're going to look at it here in a minute. Um, so the tower is... Um, you know, where the light comes in, this shedding the light, shedding the light on the falseness, shedding the light on the uh, unstable and insecure, okay? After the tower, I saw the world, which was a completion, a major completion, okay? So it's the end of a cycle. It's the end of some sort of false period because of that tower. And then after the world, I saw the Eight of Cups. So, and this wasn't in cards, okay? It wasn't in cards. But I, anyhow, I didn't have the cards in my hand when I was seeing all these. So then the Eight of Cups is saying goodbye, walking away. So walking away. Um, and then I saw the Two of Cups. So after that was walking away into a partnership. Now this doesn't, or a union or something that is very compatible, something that is very happy. Okay, and that's when I stopped and I turned the camera on. So it's very interesting. So I can't even remember everything that just happened, but um, it happened so fast. But anyway, the Eight of Cups, and this is going to happen fast because the Tower happens fast. So everything that comes out of my mouth is part of this reading. So, but this is uh, a, a, the 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 Sun, which was the very first card, which is a new beginning. It's a new day. It's a breakthrough. Okay, so it's a starting. Uh, a new life because the sun is a life-giving energy okay it is so it is basically starting a new life and after the world is completing a phase completing a cycle of falseness because before the world was the tower okay and then and then walking away because the eight of cups saying goodbye it's leaving an emotionally disappointing situation behind um so yeah it's leaving that situation behind and, and, and headed because that Eight of Cups is headed towards the Nine of Cups, which is headed towards wish fulfillment. But I didn't see the Nine of Cups. I saw the Two of Cups. The so Two of Cups is a partnership, a union, something that is very compatible, working with somebody that, you know, is uh, very compatible. Let me see. Sorry, I apologize. I uh, usually have that on... I usually have that on uh, silent, but uh, for some reason I didn't. Anyhow, um, you may be receiving a phone call. You probably are going to be receiving a phone call that you did not expect. Um, you may have wanted to silence because I usually silence these, okay? Uh, I, this, this is, I usually silence these calls, okay? Um, interesting very 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 interesting so out of the silence something is going to be received a message is going to be received now that one is from an unknown caller okay it's an it's an unknown caller okay i had blocked all the unknown callers um but I turned it back on today because I was expecting one. Okay. 
hard to explain, but I was expecting a uh, call from an unknown caller, you know, where they block their number. I was expecting it. So I turned, turned it back on just like two hours ago, and here it is. Okay, so you you may you may be receiving a call from somebody that you haven't talked to or that you had blocked before or or something like that. Um, or it's a surprise because Tower is a surprise as well. Let's get what's this? Tiger, that's from yesterday. Doing something risky, taking a chance. Interesting. We're gonna go ahead and shuffle. I ended up pushing it off. So maybe there's risky you know that goes in from the next day from the previous day that causes a tower moment okay because the tower is a destruction it's a disruption okay could be an accident the tower is a shock it's a disturbance it's a disturbance that sheds the light on something that isn't stable one card no I guess we're gonna have two Vase. Hmm. Secret admirer. There's a secret admirer here. Frying. Trouble. Well, ain't that wonderful. Accusation. So. Oh boy, there's some trouble brewing. Um. There is. There is some trouble brewing. Uh, interesting somebody may be making some accusations maybe it happened from the day before because I ended up pushing that card off and there's a secret admirer here okay what do we have for around the 19th Two of Swords reversed. This is lies being exposed. This is the truth coming out. Unblocking. <laughs> Interesting. Mm. Hmm. Interesting. Two of Swords reversed. This is this is uh emotional turmoil. See but seeing the truth seeing the truth about a poor decision perhaps somebody was blocking their emotions they were avoiding the truth they were unable to see the truth they were protecting themselves they were torn between two people or two options now now they're making a choice or they're seeing something more clearly they're opening up in some way ah. The sun. Oh, okay. So the sun is about being accepted. This is positive. This is a breakthrough. This is a new beginning. We already talked about this. This is healing. Um, this is happiness. This is extreme happiness. This is opening up. This is definitely a breakthrough. This is this is a ha very happy, happy time. This could be happy news. Four of Cups. Somebody been thinking about it for quite. Ace of Cups. They've been thinking about it for a long time. Page of Pentacles. So there is probably a secret admirer here that is has been thinking because this Four of Cups has been thinking. There's an there is definitely an opportunity for a partnership. There's an opportunity for love here. This person has been discontent. Um, but there's a, there's a, there's a, this is a flood of emotion. There's feelings, big, big, big feelings. Um, the page of pentacles is starting on a, on a new project, building a new foundation, starting fresh, expanding, manifesting. Somebody is taking an opportunity. They're taking it. They're, they're taking an opportunity. And they're very enthusiastic about it. This is enthusiasm. Okay? 
Now, the Ace of Cups is a new beginning. It's a, and, and we have a very happy new beginning here. It's going to make somebody extremely happy. This is um, things getting better, definitely. After being blocked or being emotionally guarded, this could even be fear. Okay, that could be fear within yourself. That could be in the Two of Swords reverse. Somebody may have been fearful. They may have been blocking their emotions, blocking their feelings, blocking their heart. You know, there's the, the Two of Swords reverse can be extreme, extreme anxiety. Okay, extremely anxious, um, having trouble. And that's maybe this is why we have trouble that having trouble choosing between the future and the and the past. You know, trying somebody's been trying to protect themselves, but there's definitely a new opportunity here. We, there is this. There's definitely a not new opportunity for happiness. Somebody's been thinking about taking it. They haven't grabbed it yet, but I think they're about to. I do think they're about to. Whoever this person is that has been reluctant to uh, open their heart has been uh, protecting themselves. This person was protecting themselves. They were blocking their emotions, okay? But now this person is ready to put in effort and, and start over because that's what this is. The Page of Pentacles is starting over. This is where somebody finds their, their backbone, okay, to follow through and take charge and and go in a new direction. So somebody is going to be taking steps in a new direction, even though it's not easy. It's not going to be easy to start over because this, start, this is starting from scratch. It really is. This is definitely starting over. But it does lead to a lot of positive energy and positive you know, emotion. Okay, this is a positive new beginning here that could make somebody extremely happy. Um, somebody is being emotionally honest with themselves and they're, they're going to be following their heart and, and, and acting with integrity um, after being uh, blocking their emotions. Okay. Eight of Swords. So this is over here with this Four of Cups. The Eight of Swords is confinement. Okay, somebody was uh, restricting themselves, staying in a safe, staying in the safety zone, and not and, and choosing to stay in the safety zone when they, they when they had ability to escape. So we have some, and this is mental, mental prison. Somebody has been letting their their own fears, I believe, get the best of them. Somebody was choosing the safety zone instead of stepping outside of their comfort zone. Three of pen. That's why they weren't working together. There was no communication. We have an individual that four of cups, eight of swords, three of pentacles reversed. This person was was probably scared or still focused on somebody from the past with that four of cups. Still focused on some heartache. Uh, didn't really feel like they could work with anybody. Didn't feel like they could be together with anybody. Um, they didn't probably have a lot of ambition. They lost their ambition. You know, they just didn't have any drive. They weren't. They weren't really looking for a relationship or something like that because they were sulking. Somebody was sulking. They were and they were protecting themselves as well. Yeah. Death reverse. Now this is um, an incident that has caused a delay. We have a person that has been undecided. Here we have indecision. Okay, this person was undecided for quite some time as to whether they wanted to open their heart again, um, and that's why they weren't communicating and they weren't working together. I feel like this is a new love. Just so you know, I think that a lot of you are wanting to hold on to a past love. And I'm not just saying that. My intuition, this is the gateway of intuition, tells me that this is, and this is new, and this is new. This is brand new. This is a brand new love. It's a new love. This is a new love. Did you hear what I said? This is a new love. This is a new, uh, this is a new beginning. Okay, this is this is a new beginning with somebody new. Over here, we have an individual that has been focused on somebody from the past. That is what we have. 
but this person is starting to realize that there's another opportunity. They've delayed for quite some ta time. The, the holding on has gotten old and, and, and it's time to remove this obstacle of fear and staying in this situation where, you know, there's no communication and there's a lack of respect. You know, somebody's been holding on to a third party situation where they weren't chosen. You know, the person wasn't interested in them. And it feels like it, this, this holding on to this dead end has gotten old. And so it's, this is why this is a new love. There's a new opportunity. This is healing. It's a healing, healing love. So there's a healing love coming in for somebody that is willing to to start over and build a new foundation with somebody new. And and I think that we do have an individual that is, is about to open up after they've been blocking because they were waiting. They were waiting for this dead end, this person to come back from the dead that, you know, isn't interested. That's how I know it's not somebody from, you know, that you dated before. It's not. This is not. Unless you dated them 30 years ago or 20 years ago. That's different. That's, that's, that could be the case. But this isn't something um, recent. Okay. This is, I mean, this could be a crush. Okay. With a secret admirer that you had uh, recently. You know, crush. Somebody that you you know, have been communicating with a little bit here and there, or talking to or whatever, but it never developed into a relationship, that kind of thing. This could have been a missed opportunity coming back around, but this isn't an ex. That's what I'm trying to say. I know that it's not. This is not an ex. This is somebody new. This part over here is for somebody that has been holding on to a dead end. And that's why I can say that. And then we get these people that are in deep illusion that think that their ex is holding on to the dead end. The illusion is within yourself. That's the tower that I saw. That's you holding on to a false sense of security. That isn't realistic. There is a new opportunity for love coming in here with somebody that you can build a long-term foundation with. Okay? It looks like, I mean, this is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We could have a Leo. We could have a Scorpio. Somebody has been blocking their heart and their selves from being loved by you know, confine, confining themselves and restricting themselves to a dead end where there's no communication and there's a third party. Emperor. Emperor makes a decision. It's very structured and organized, all about order. Could be dealing with an Aries, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. Somebody that is uh, ready to fight. Very, very uh, solid. Very, very decisive. Very, very stable. This is, this is an individual that shows no weakness. Has a very tough exterior. Is very experienced and takes control. So we have somebody here that is about to take control. The emperor has a plan and that may be the secret admirer. I don't know. Now this emperor has a plan. He always has a plan. He's getting ready to send a message. This per because I yeah, that bird birds are for me are messages to me. He just waiting for the moment. Somebody is getting ready to send a message. This person may be a boss or somebody in a position of authority. Oh, nice.
Knight of Wands. This is this is action. We definitely have an individual that is about to take action. They are about to move. They're done thinking. They have been thinking long enough. They're done. They're ready. Absolutely ready. They're ready for their new life. They're sick of holding on. They're sick of, of this dead end sicko situation. It's caused them illness. It has. So this is the end. The death is that the death is is the end, okay? Death is the end whether it is reversed or upright. We have a, an individual that is done. Okay? They are done holding on. This person is ready to do whatever it takes. Ready to fight, ready to prove, ready, ready. He's ready. And this is big love. Now, the Ace of Cups is a flood of emotion. Expressing emo emotion, feeling emotion. This is a new day. This is a very positive life change. Somebody is moving and they are moving fast. This is very fast. One more card. The devil. The devil reverse. So the devil reverse is drastic. Right next to that death card reverse. I'm not sure. If, I mean, I'm just going to be honest with you. With the death reverse and the devil reverse, there could be death. I'm just saying. Okay. I could pretty it up, but that ain't me. Um, the devil reversed is suffering. It is. Must free somebody must free themselves from this situation where that they have been slave to, they have been suffering. And death is it can be either mental or physical. Death is it can be uh, summed up in many different ways. This is the end of a desperate situation where there has been a lot of suffering and enslavement to something that isn't healthy. This is freedom. The sun is freedom and the devil reversed its freedom and so isn't the death card. So this is freedom. Somebody is breaking free from some sort of confinement or uh, restriction that they have stayed in because it was safe. They're breaking outside of their safety zone. They're severing ties. If, it feels like things have reached the point where this person just, and this is very impulsive right here. And both of these can be impulsive. Somebody is making a very quick, impulsive decision to break free. This is freedom to free themselves from this death trap. This is the Eight of Swords, this is Death card. And they've been really unhappy staying in this unhealthy, toxic situation. And I feel like their health has declined steadily. And their ambition and their drive as well. So like they were just and they they and if you think about the tower, that's very unstable. It's like they've been crumbling and get things have been getting worse and worse and worse. And they've been getting worse and worse and worse. This is like all of a sudden. This person follows through with their plan that they have thought about long enough. And they follow their heart. Anyhow, I would say that you can ex expect to uh, hear about an individual uh, making a decision. that breaks them free from a situation that they held on to for as long as they could. They really, really, really did. This is like a near death experience with the death reverse. It was, it's been dead for a long time. Now the devil reversed and the death reversed and the tower are all disaster, all three of those cars. So this is like a disaster. So I'm not sure if there's some sort of 
It's been a disaster. It turned out to be a disaster. There's probably been some trouble and some accusations. Anyhow, I do feel as though we have a new beginning here. Things are about to get better. Somebody's going to follow their heart and they're going to take action and they are going to sever ties with something that was really good at the beginning but just doesn't feel good anymore. And they're going to be starting fresh. And they're going to head right towards the Two of Cups. And it happens fast. Because I saw that Two of Cups. It happens very, very fast. It's like right there, right there. Anyhow, um, there's a new start in love after an individual breaks free and they break free all of a sudden too this is a sudden it's very sudden could be sudden a sudden ending death is right above it and the tower is sudden as well but this is actually really beautiful this is light at the end of the tunnel with that with that sun card this is the light at the end of the tunnel This is a new beginning. This ending, death endings lead to new beginnings. And it happens very, very, very fast. So anyway, get prepared. There could be a secret admirer that is coming in very quick as well. This person has severed ties. Okay? This person that is coming in has severed ties by the looks of things. They're ready. They're ready to settle down. They're ready. Good luck. 